All right, we're back this week playing another round of HGTV's House Hires. Celebrity Edition, this week we are going coast to coast while stopping off in Texas. We have a global superstar, Harry Styles, social media personality, Danielle Bernstein, and entertainment veteran Warren Scarin. We've got over $16 million worth of real estate to review, and then I've got to decide whose house I want to buy as is, where is, I can't make any changes. So let's get to it. Let's play House Hunters Celebrity Edition. Here we go. First up, we have the associate producer of the original Top Gun movie, Mr. Warren Scarns. Five bedroom, five bathroom, 6,000 square foot hilltop home just outside of Austin, Texas. This six and a half million dollar Tuscan estate blends European villa styled elegance with the charm of the Texas hill country. Step inside and be transported to a world of luxury and refinement. The interior of this home is a true work of art with every detail crafted to perfection. The exterior features a beautiful pool, overlooking private canyon, and multiple outdoor patios provide the perfect setting for an outdoor gathering or peaceful moments of solitude. The property also features a private sports court, perfect for staying active and enjoying leisurely pursuits right at home. Situated just 15 minutes from downtown Austin, this home offers the best of both worlds, a tranquil escape from the bustling city yet close enough to enjoy all of the amenities and attractions it has to offer. So I love the location and the setting, but my only issue with this house, or well, one of my issues is the primary bathroom. I didn't love it that much, if I'm being honest. But we started off strong though. We got two more to see. Before I make a decision, let's check out who's next. Next up, we have a social media star with over 3 million followers. On Instagram is Danielle Bernstein's two-bedroom, two-bathroom Soho loft rental in New York City. This $3 million apartment does not feature your typical exposed red brick walls common for the area. Instead, lime wash pressure-fitted walls now frame the entire space. The design gravitates towards organic textures and materials like reclaimed timber, more organic linen, and elements known for their patina. The living room, dining room, and kitchen all blend together to create an inviting space perfect for hosting. The Japanese-inspired Wabasabi living room features a custom-built faux fireplace, a 1930s Persian rug, two 1950s Swedish armchairs, a 1961 floor lamp. The distinct zigzag off-white sofa faces the linen artwork that doubles as a TV cover. I will say, she does have a very expensive collection of furniture, but I don't know, this feels very DIY to me. The walls, the TV cover, the faux fireplace. I get what she was trying to do, but uh, I don't know. I'll need, to, I'll need to think about this one. One more to go. Let's check out who's next. Last up, we have a Grammy award-winning artist, Mr. Harry Styles. Four bedrooms, six bathroom, 4,400 square foot, 6.8 million dollar home, perched atop the Sunset Strip. Located behind private gates, this modern home boasts spectacular panoramic views from downtown to Santa Monica. The main level features an open floor plan, while the upstairs offers luxurious owner suite with a private balcony. The backyard has a sparkling pool, a hot tub, surrounded by mature greenery, and an impressive cabana with a sitting area, bar, and bathroom perfect for entertaining. Other amenities include a home theater, gym, office, a large private terrace, head-on views of LA skyline, only minutes away from the best dining, shopping, and everything West Hollywood has to offer. This house is all about the location and the views. They've hammered that point home. Will it be enough? Convince me to snag it though. I don't know, we'll, we'll find out next. So to recap, we have Warren Scarin, $6.5 million Texas Tuscan Escape, Danielle Bernstein's $3 million Soho Loft, or Harry Styles' $6.8 million modern bachelor pad above the Sunset Strip, and I'm first gonna eliminate the Soho Loft since it's the smallest, no outdoor space too much. I don't want to address there, so Danielle, I'm sorry, you are gone. Now we have the Hilltop in Austin, or the Hilltop in LA. Since they both have views and outdoor space, it comes down to which home I like more. And for me personally, that is the Hill Country Escape in Austin. I get views, I get the house, I get everything I need. The house is nicer and that's the most important thing I'm going with. What about you guys? What are you picking? Let me know, hit the like, subscribe. I'm gonna be neighbors. 
with Matthew McConaughey. Hook them. Bye.